Welcome YouTube. I'm back with another tutorial. I want to show you what I uh, disabled my device manager to um, get better performance out of my computer, which I did see some performance uh, improvements. Um, I'm using Vista Ultimate 64 bit. Some of y'all might be using Windows XP. But I'm going to show you how to get the device manager from my Vista. Uh, I go to start program, I go to welcome center, I go to show more details on left hand side at the top, it shows uh, device manager, I click on that, okay, here we go, let me enlarge this, now my device manager, um, keep in note that there might be some things that you might need, that I don't and there might be some things I need that you don't uh, so make sure you know what's going on with your device manager and what you need what you don't need um, make sure you look it up on um, Google or Wikipedia or something because you don't want to disable something that you really need to mess up your computer and then you got to boot up in uh, safe mode to get it back uh, make a note, do not disable your processors. I wouldn't know how to tell y'all to get back in. How to get back into your computer to start it back up. I don't know if you, I don't even know if you would be able to take and boot up in safe mode if you disable your processor. Okay, start off with, let's go over here with, um, computer. Um, this is your computer. Okay. It tells you the base of your system, 32 is 64 bit. Leave it enabled. Um, don't disable anything unless I tell you to disable it. But then make sure you know if you can disable it. Just don't take my word for it. I'm just basically showing you what I disable for my performance. Okay? This drive is your hard drive. You know you want to keep that. Display adapters is your video card kept it my uh, DVD and CD uh, worm drivers I got two of them I kept them my wife uses both of them floppy drive controller I don't use floppy drive so I disable it we don't even have a floppy drive so I disable that if you use it leave it enabled if not disable it human interface devices I don't exactly remember what these are for but I suggest that you keep them enabled don't disable them. IDE ATA ATAPI controller. I don't use IDE channels. I have SATA, cell ATA. I disable it. If you if you have IDE, keep them enabled. Keep your standard dual channel PCI IDE controller, which is like for your video cards and stuff like that. Keep that enabled. Okay. Um, the IEE 1394 bus host controller. Your Texas instrument. This is for like your calculator and if I'm correct, for like your calendar and your time. Okay, that's from Texas instrument. Um, keep that enabled. Emerson service. Your live, uh, like your webcam and stuff. I suggest you keep that enabled. Keyboards. The keyboards, you want to keep them enabled so you can use them. Your mouse, keep it enabled. Your monitor, keep your monitor enabled. Network adapters is your GeForce Network controller. It's where you plug in. It's your Ethernet. That's where you plug in your your your, your internet at. I have a wireless edition on my motherboard, so. I didn't need it, I don't use wireless, so I disable it. If I ever do need it, I go back in and enable it. Port. Communication port and printer port. My printer is not hooked up, I don't use it right now. It's not even installed, so I disable it. Communication port, if I'm correct, I think that's for like remote desktop. Or communication back and forth from printer to the computer. I disable that. Here comes the big one I told you not to disable. Processors, how many processors you got? Single, dual, quad, or whatever. 
it'll be listed right here. Do not disable this. Your sound card, the sound from your webcam, keep them enabled. Storage controller. This, it, this is for your storage. Um, I kept them enabled. System devices. I kept everything enabled except for the system speaker. That's where when your computer boots up and it beeps at one time. Right before it goes to the desktop or before you go to log in. That's what that's for. I don't need to hear that beep. So I disable it. Okay. Universal so uh, serial bus controller. This is for like the USB ports. Keep them enabled. Um, there's some other things on here you can take and go to uh, so hidden devices, and you will come across uh, non plug and play devices. Uh, click that. There's a bunch of stuff here. I am not sure what these are for. I suspect that we would need them. Um, enable. I will. I just found this out a few minutes ago before I made this video about this part right here. Uh, I will do some research on it, try to find out what this non plug and play, play devices are. And if I need, if I can disable anything for better performance, I will. I'll let you know about it. Um, the name of the video will be um, My Device Manager Part 2. This is part one, and um, I hope you all like this tutorial, and please subscribe, please leave all comments that you want, and please let me be respectful and kind words when you leave your um, um, comments. If I made any mistakes on this, please let me know. If there's something that I could explain better. Please let me know. I'm still trying to get used to doing these uh, videos. Sometimes I get tongue-tied and I forget what I'm going to say. Maybe I should script it out first. I don't know. But y'all have a wonderful day. And continue um, li listening to my videos. And go through and watch all my other videos. I got things about other stuff. And just after you get done with this one, go watch some of my other videos. And, um... Let me know what you think, and any comments and suggestions, please let me know. Thank you.